Hello everyone, welcome to the English devotional from Soldiers of the Cross. Let's begin in prayer. Heavenly Father, I come before your holy presence asking forgiveness of my sins and my prayer can enter your throne. I thank you, Father God, for all of your blessings, all of your companionship, your mercy. I thank you, Lord, because you are there for us in our time of need. You love us through all of our weaknesses, all of our strengths, Lord. There is nothing that is hidden from your sight. Father, I ask that you will be with this devotional today. Help us to understand what exactly it is that you have in store for us. Help us, Lord, to be able to apply the things that we are learning to our spiritual lives so our foundations can be firm, so our pillars can be firm. Lord, only you give wisdom. We want that wisdom. We're looking for you. We're searching for you. We want to know you more. Father, I ask that you will be with those who are sick. Lord, you know that they are waiting on your healing. You know what type of healing that they need. So, Father, I ask that your faithfulness will be evident to them today. Whether they are waiting for physical healing here on earth, or they're waiting for their physical healing in heaven. But, Lord, be faithful to them. Show them your goodness, your kindness, your mercy, and your love. Father, give them strength to continue on, to persevere. Father, for those who are hurting financially, maybe because of a loss of job or because they haven't been able to find a job or their job just doesn't pay what they need right now. Lord, continue to provide for their needs. Help them to know what direction to turn to when the time comes for decisions to be made. Father, I also ask for those who are hurting emotionally. You know the sorrows that we face on a day-to-day basis. You know the sorrows and the situations that are causing those sorrows in each and every life. Some may be hidden and some may be very evident. But Lord, I ask that you will be with those and comfort them. Wrap your arms around them and give them peace, Lord. You said in your word, Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. You comfort them, Lord, and I thank you and I praise you. Father, these things I ask in your Son's name. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Today's devotional is titled, Chronicles, Our Eternal Governor. It was written by Antonio Corrales and translated by Nelson Berries. Our biblical base comes from Daniel chapter 4, verses 29 through 37. So says the word of God. And at the end of the twelve months he was walking about the royal palace of Babylon. The king spoke, saying, Is not this great Babylon that I have built for a royal dwelling by my mighty power and for the honor of my majesty? While the word was still in the king's mouth, a voice fell from heaven, King Nebuchadnezzar, to you it is spoken, the kingdom has departed from you, and they shall drive you from men, and your dwelling shall be with the beast of the field. They shall make you eat grass like oxen, and seven times shall pass over you, until you know that the Most High rules in the kingdom of men, and gives it to whomever he chooses. That very hour the word was fulfilled concerning Nebuchadnezzar. He was driven from men, and ate grass like oxen. His body was wet with the dew of the heaven, till his hair had grown like the eagle's feathers, and his nails like bird's claws. At the end of the time I, Nebuchadnezzar, lifted my eyes to heaven, and my understanding returned to me, and I blessed the Most High, and praised and honored him who lives forever. For his dominion is an everlasting dominion, and his kingdom is from generation to generation. All the inhabitants of the earth are reputed as nothing. He does according to his will in the army of heaven. And among the inhabitants of the earth, no one can restrain his hand, or say to him, What have you done? At the same time, 
my reason returned to me, and for the glory of my kingdom my honor and my splendor returned to me. My counselors and nobles resorted to me, I was restored to my kingdom, and excellent majesty was added to me. Now I, Nebuchadnezzar, praise and extol and honor the King of heaven, all of whose works are truth, and his ways justice, and those who walk in pride he is able to put down. Amen. May we be blessed by the reading of the scripture. Chronicles is recorded of the kingdoms of Israel and Judah. In many of its parts, it is a repetition of the same thing that we find in the book of Kings. But that series of governments, some short-lived and others a little longer, but all equally ending with the death or assassination of a king, show us human instability, a product of the disobedience of the people to the pact and the arrogance of the man by wanting to reject God and establish a human government. Against all this contrast, the eternal government of our God, he is king by full right. No one has crowned him. He is the only eternal governor of everything that exists. His kingdom will never end. And even in this world, where at present it seems that darkness rules, behind the scenes the king is in control of everything, and one day he will establish his throne forever. The human kingdoms and their glories pass. Those who are powerful today, tomorrow, are defeated, and their power is undone as nothing. This is one of the teachings of Chronicles, but the kingdom of our God is eternal. Amen.
Amen, what a beautiful song. And now we invite you to check out the YouTube channel, SEC English Ministry, for our daily Bible reading as we journey through the New Testament. And now we ask that the blessed love of God, the grace and peace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the companion and communion of the Holy Spirit, our great counselor, be with all of his children now and forever. Amen. <laughs> 